English opening, symmetrical, double fianchetto defense, 6.NC3BG7. Sharp a back and forth game where both players had chances. That game was pretty competitive. The opening was balanced. The middle game battle was fairly even. Although white played a great end game, black did even better. In the English opening, white plays c4 to take control of the d5 square without sacrificing a central piece. This is a more patient opening. c5 meets c4 with a symmetrical approach to controlling the center. The knight grows and the d4 and e5 squares are under the control of nf3. nf6 develops the knight toward the center and controls the e4 and d5 squares. In order to dominate the center from the long diagonal, g3 is getting ready to fianchetto the light squared bishop to g2. b6 prepares to fianchetto the light squared bishop on b7, where it will sit on the long diagonal. It is good. bg2 puts the bishop on the long diagonal in a move called a fianchetto. It is best. bb7 puts the bishop on the long diagonal in a move called a fianchetto. It is best. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. It is good. This prepares the bishop for development. It is excellent. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. It is ideal. This fianchettos the bishop by placing it on a powerful diagonal. It is best. The bishop will be better off as a result of this. Castling develops a rook, while also moving the king to safety. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent tends to lead to less sharp positions as compared with opposite side castling. Games Master. It is the final book action. A wise decision. It is quite good. A rook enters the action after developing outside of its starting square as a result. It is quite good. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. It is ideal. That is a logical response. It is quite good. By moving a rook from its starting square, this activates it. It is quite good. This is not the best approach. It is incorrect. Not the finest, this. It is incorrect. There were worse maneuvers, but there were also much better ones. It is incorrect. The knight is now located at an outpost, a safe area inside the enemy's territory. That's good. As a result, the bishop may now control more squares because it is in a better position. That's good. This is not the best approach. It is incorrect. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. Backs off. That's good. This poses a risk of winning a pawn. It is ideal. The opposing bishop gets kicked by a pawn, and must now move or be captured. It is ideal. The bishop is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. This wastes a chance to center a knight and give it more power over squares. It is incorrect. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. This is the only good move. It is a great move. Recaptures. It is ideal. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. This exchange is fair. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. This divides up parts by launching multiple attacks at once. It is ideal. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. It is ideal. Not the finest, this. It is incorrect. This misses a chance to use a pawn to attack the center. It is incorrect. This poses the risk of producing a passed pawn. It is incorrect. That leaves a pawn vulnerable to being captured. It is a blunder. That pawn's capture grants you material. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. Backs off. This poses a fork piece threat. It is ideal. This competes for the open file with the opposing rook. It is quite good. Now that white has lost their winning advantage, the score is about even. It is incorrect. This is the only move that works. 
This was a game-changing move, Black is no longer in a losing position. It is a great move. Recaptures. It is ideal. This is the only good move. It is best. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. There was only one move that was effective, and this wasn't it. It is incorrect. This allows the opponent to create a passed pawn. It is a miss. This turns the pawn into a passed pawn, which means no other pawn may oppose it as it advances. It is ideal. The pawn is now passed because it can no longer be opposed as it attempts to promote by other pieces. This raises the possibility of an eventual checkmate. It is ideal. This defends the attacked pawn. This prevents the opponent from being able to win a rook. It is best. This attacks a knight and gains a tempo when the knight retreats. That's good. This overlooks a better way to win a tempo by threatening a rook. It is a mistake. There was only one good move there. This misses an opportunity to move a rook to safety. It is a miss. Backs off. The end game has begun, and black is worse. It is ideal. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. The knight is thus brought to safety. It is ideal. Thus, a pawn is lost. This enables the adversary to exchange blows. It is incorrect. This forks multiple pieces. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This avoids the rook's check. That's good. It was a free pawn there. It is ideal. This poses a risk of winning a rook. It is ideal. This prevents the adversary from winning a rook. It is ideal. The pawn is now on a square that is safer. It is ideal. A powerful play. It is quite good. Recaptures. It is quite good. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. This avoids the rook's check. It is ideal. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This avoids the rook's check. It is ideal. Among the best actions. It is quite good. This moves the checking rook farther away. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. This steps away from the checking rook. It is excellent. Sharp a back and forth game where both players had chances. That game was pretty competitive. The opening was balanced. The middle game battle was fairly even. Although white played a great end game, black did even better.